What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about three under $5 mods that I usually do to all my dirt bikes. Starting with these just cheap fender washer bolts for cars. I use these on my on my Honda Civic project as well, but I figured I wouldn't record that because it's pretty simple. You just take out your old bolts and thread in these little fancy washer four millimeter bolts. Um, I had to shorten this one but the rest of them were all good. I didn't have to shorten anything. But they just replace any of the little 10 millimeter bolts. And I think they look a lot better than the factory silver ones. Now for the second mod I like to do is I'll buy one of these cheapo paint markers. They work really good on rubber too. So I like to do my tire lettering in them. So what I'll do is I just wash the bike so it's not too big of a deal, but like a good idea would be to wipe that down with maybe some alcohol or something just to make sure there's no like tire shine or anything on it. But I've never put tire shine on this bike, so I should be okay. But I'm going to quickly wipe this down and start tire lettering it up. Yeah, so for these paint markers, you want to you wanna shake, shake them a whole bunch. Shake them for like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute is usually what I do. And then when you open it for the first time... The tip won't be yellow like that. You'll have to push down on something, which is what I did here. You just push push the pen down and it, this little yellow, the thing that's yellow now will go up inside and get some paint on it. So you just do, you pretty much you just push up and down on it with it straight down like that until it gets yellow and then you're ready to put some paint on your tire. And just like that, one of them are done. I'm gonna go around and do the rest of the bike. I just figured I'd, I wouldn't bore you with that, but that's pretty much all you do. You just use it like it's a marker and you just slowly do it. And even if you do mess up a little bit, like I did right there in the center of the O, if you let it dry, you can like, like I like to use like the tip of my pocket knife and I'll just gently scratch it and it takes it right off. So not a big deal if you, if you make a mess or mess up, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get into doing the rest of them and I'll show you the outcome. And here we are with the finished product. I always love how this looks when you fresh do it. I mean, it will eventually come off. It's just, it is what it is, but if you have a little bit of patience and you can redo it every once in a while, God, does it look good. But now we're gonna move into my third thing and this may sound weird, and I do get a lot of questions of this because I used to do this on my Supermoto and stuff. But you got the rear shock reservoir, right? So, if you find a can you like, you can cut this, like, I'll show you how to cut it, but cut this and put it around that and zip tie it, and you have a custom shock cover. So, I'm going to trim this up, and then I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I just cut the top and bottom off like that, and then I cut a slit down the backside, and you see how it's already trying to, like, it's trying to make itself skinnier. It's like overlapping or whatever. That's perfect because that's what you're going to do with this. You're going to, now what I do is I'll put this up on that shock reservoir and see how tall I need it, mark it, and then I'll trim the height of this. And then after that, you just slip this over the shock reservoir and then you zip tie it on there. So I'm going to do that now and show you the finished product. And here's the finished product. So what I do after I tighten the zip ties down and I cut them short, I like to rotate the clipping part of it in the backside so you don't even see it. And then I usually make it so that this can overhangs the end of the shock just a touch. I don't know, it just looks clean that way in my opinion. But I think that's pretty cool for like $10 worth of stuff. So you'll have to let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more of these videos of just cheap mods and stuff I like to do to my bikes because there is a few more things that I do. So, uh, yeah, 
Thanks for watching.